Hello there friends. Going to paint tonight an 11 by 14 panel. Um, put some bright color on it. I actually, I think when I did it, thought I'd be painting horizontal. So I might have done it the other way if I'd have known I was going vertical, but I don't think it matters. I just wanted to get some uh, nice bright color on there. I'll show you. You can kind of see the image there that I painted. I've sketched it on with a pencil. Let me get rid of the background there. There he is. Isn't that cute? It's a friend that I, an acquaintance from years ago, and uh, he raises, I think it's a basset hound, right? He raises these. Isn't that cute? Good image, too. So that's what we're going for. Always fun to paint an animal. So I've got my colors out here. We're going to start off. I always start with the darkest darks on when I do an animal. Even though I've tried to make a lot of changes in my day-to-day -day painting, um, you know that I've been doing like a value sketch and I start with my lightest lights then, but I'm going to paint this the way I, I always paint pets. I'm, you know, I think I do a good job on them. I'm not going to mess with the way I do that. So we'll, we'll start with a fairly large brush, a number, it's Rosemary Company number six. This is the ultimate long flat. And I have some of my um, solvent free fluid out and we're going to dip into that to thin down a little bit. And again, we're just looking for those darkest darks right now. The um, Cincinnati Women's Art Club has their juried show coming up. I got the information for it, so um, trying to decide if I'm going to submit and what I'm going to submit. I can submit two paintings. They'll only take one if they take, if they take one. Um, so it's getting a little late to paint something for it, so I'm deciding what I would submit if I do. course the eyes are not you know I'm just blocking in where they would be and uh, staying back on the brush keeping things loose oh sorry about that I cranked it up there and now it's coming back down a little bit it scared me to scare you Well, I cooked for you last time. That was different. Made soup. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just spice things up. Do something different. The channel's not growing by leaps and bounds, let's face it. So I thought maybe if it was a little more personable, maybe that'd be better. Come stay gone and stop moving. When the weather gets better, maybe we'll try to do a little plein air painting with you too. Get you outside. I have done a little bit of that on the channel, but not a lot. always say when I do a pet it's like a puzzle for me I just um, do I just block in colors and shapes and yeah, I think I said this is an 11 by 14 a little bit bigger than I go a lot of times but and I have to decide how I want to handle this. He's got, looks like a pillow and then a piece of something else and another little pillow. And, you know, at this point, I'm not worried about it. We're not thinking about it. I 
and not all these areas are black looking in the photo, but I, you know, they're darker, so. And this is ultramarine and transparent red oxide, so it's um, a transparent color, so you can push it around and make it a little bit lighter. It's like a shadow here. And we don't want to cover up, even though I've done that in the darks, you know, I don't want to cover up all this background color. He's got like um, a roll under here, like a double chin. And a bit of a shadow right here from the ear. I want to keep, you know, loose edges at this point. I don't want anything too hard. I did submit a dog years ago to this show, um, and it got in an acrylic. It was when I was, I spent a few years painting in acrylics quite a bit. I, I saw him the other day. I was wondering if it would be easy to grab. Probably not, right? Uh, it's up there on that shelf someplace, but. Um, it was a golden retriever and uh, yeah, nice image. All right, let's switch off now. And uh, there's a lot of, he's white and the darks that I see and then um, a lot of beautiful kind of warm sienna, burnt sienna kind of a color. So I'm gonna make a pile of orange over here that we can dip into. Eventually, I'm thinking I'm going to get away. I have cad red light on here and I have cad yellow medium, which I love. But I'm thinking over time I may try to transition away from the cads and get the cads off of my palette because they are toxic. Um, so I have to find a good alternative for those two colors. And I, and, and I use a cobra, so I'm going to have to come up with something that works. Um, so that's my goal. I also, for the first time in years tonight, I squeezed out some, um, what the heck's that stuff called? <laughs> that terrible. It's a yellow, a very common yellow. Wait a minute, I can't even think of the name of it. And I watch this guy paint all the time and he always has it on his palette. Isn't that terrible? Can't remember the name of it. Hmm. Oh, I know why I put it in my box. You're going to laugh at me when I come up with it. My old brain. Yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. I used to always have yellow ochre on my palette, but, and I don't even know if I'll use it, um, but he uses a lot of it, so Craig Nelson, so I thought, well, let's put some of that out there. So I'm going to put some transparent red oxide out here because that's a beautiful warm color and actually very similar to burnt sienna and to a lot of the color I see on him. So we're going to put some of that out and then we're going to uh, make some different values with that and like I'm going to pull some of it more toward the orange. You know, just uh, shift it around a little bit. Give me some, myself some options. I put a little white in some, a little more yellow in some. Just try to mix up. Yeah, that's kind of pretty even. I put some of the uh, yellow ochre in that too, so.
And I think what I'll do is um, take some of it and put a little ultramarine blue in it so it's darker. And we'll first look for those, the darkest warm colors that I see in him, okay? So what I'm doing here, which is the way I always have painted, is I do my sketch, then I put in my darks, which is still basically what I'm doing, I've been doing lately. You know, I've been sketching with the paint and then doing kind of a value sketch. So it's similar. This, I don't know if I think I mentioned that, but I sketched him on in pencil. Um, some people don't like to do that. I'm not telling you to do that. That's what I do. I don't pick it up. I don't have a problem with it. Um, some people don't like to do it, but you find what works for you. Okay, so we'll take the darkest mixture that we made. And I'm going to look for... You know, and it's not a commission, so I don't have to make it exactly like him. But I'm probably going to try because, you know, at some point I may gift it to the guy. If, you know. And probably if this was, you know, I may want to sit down is what I was going to say at some point and get right up in here so I can really make sure everything is correct. So. Get my face, you know, back and forth. You want to get up and back and get away from it a lot too, but the very edge of this ear is the orangest, lightest part. That's the cushion. Just making sure I'm not messing up my sketch. I'm going to have to get out more transparent red oxide. I'm going through a lot of it with this guy. And this may not be a one-part video. This might be two. We'll see. I mean, I'd like to get him at least blocked in, but uh, he, I may not feel like he's done.
and it takes a long time of just placing color and stuff and value for I think it really you know starts coming together like the dog so I try not to overthink it just keep laying down value and color little spots around his nose and on his face and short little legs lots of wrinkles here be nice to have the image closer to me too. I'm struggling a little bit to see it. Got some big ears, don't they? I feel like his ear might even want to go over further. All right, let's clean our brush off, even though I don't feel like it has to be real clean. We're going to go into the white. And I don't want a pure white, so we're going to dip into a little bit of that warm mixture. Let's get a little solvent on there. Not solvent, solvent free. There's all different ways people paint animals, too. Uh, I'm sure you've noticed that. That's why if you get a pet commission, you just got to see some of their work and choose. Because some people's are very um, not realistic at all, and uh, some people are super realistic. You just got to decide what style you like. Some are kind of cartoony, and that can be fun. All right, let's zoom in on this little muzzle a little bit as I, as I do this. Still using this big brush.
That's a dirty. Let's clean that up. You know, we got to explain his nose better. There's some cool light up here I want to get. So, um, some of these pattern back in that I see. I'm going to get somewhat of a smaller brush here to mouse kind of unusual. A dark line down here and then across here. And his nostril, nostril of course, is going to be the darkest thing right there. for the details, but uh, you know, we could explain his eye now if we wanted, but I think, I think we'll go ahead and uh, try to at least get his body blocked in. this off a little bit, this white under his neck, because I don't, we'll see how it reads, but I I feel like if I cool it off, it might pull back. It looks in the photo pretty much as bright as this muzzle up here, but we'll see. I, I, again, I'd like it to pull back. And that may not do it, we'll see. Or it might feel too blue. And there's a shadow under here, so we want to keep some of that dark. Yeah, I'm not liking the way that feels. It's just almost too blue for me. So let's wipe it off. Maybe it's too saturated. Should be more grayed, maybe. I think the idea of cooling it is fine, but I'm, I'm feeling like maybe it should be more grayed. In the photo, it's really catching a lot of light, but, you know, do I want it to? Maybe not. We'll see. We'll know as we get more of it blocked in. see here. Tell you something we probably should have blocked in before we went much further and I'm going to go back to it is the ear on this side.
feel that needs to be more sienna. Let's go back into our white, which I, I didn't really clean my brush, so. All right, his body goes over here under the ear. actually a shadow there which we'll see we may reintroduce it building him as we go. Whenever, look at me, I'm going to do this on this. Gosh. <laughs> do you do that on magazines or books once in a while? I find myself trying to do that. Oh my gosh. So funny. Just started reading a new book, um, Valerie Bertinelli, a new book that she put out. Just, just getting started, but it seems to be a pretty easy read. I like her. She was married to uh, Van Halen, is that his name? Eddie Van Halen, I think. I think he passed away, if I remember right. So that's most of the dog's body. Um, we got to develop the feet and everything, of course. Um, You know, I have to decide how much I want to explain. The scanning across them, I blew it up larger so I could see. You can see some of the lines between some of his toes, and you can see, of course, toenails, so. Okay, one, mis let me look here, something that's different. Um, the ear comes down, comes out. A 
the bodies out a little further than I have it. And again, that's his tail. And you can see some of my pink and my orange, and uh, we'll have to decide how much of that we want to leave showing through. All right. Again, I am a long way off from this image, from the painting, standing and painting, so normally I would sit down and really develop this eye, but we'll see if, what we can do from here. All right, we're going to take a warm, warm color. Some of my orange, some of my transparent red oxide. And again, I'm, I'm pretty far off, but we'll see. Put a little warmth in there. And, you know, I have this dark color on here, and you can blend into that. Let me look at the placement of this eye again. May have to go back. We got dark here, dark up here, dark that runs around like that. Yeah, we may push that back. Let me wipe that off. Again, I may want to sit down to really work on his eye. Looks like it's about back in there. The other side, all I can see is a dark there. I can't really back in again.
you know, we can define his nose better when we paint the background in. All right, I'm looking at the top of his head. It's a little low. down the corner of the eye. We'll see if we like that. He's got color on the toes. This is a huge brush. If you want to be painterly though and loose, um, the bigger brush you use, the more likely you are to be. And if you're trying to loosen up, which so many people are, If you weren't here, this is when I would be taking a break. You know, I don't kill myself at this. I, I break when I want. So we might stop for now and uh, just post this short video and then that's like the center of the couch there. and. The, You might be able to see some of the bottom of the cushion there. All right, we'll just spread that around a little bit if we're going to stop here, so it don't doesn't give us a problem next time. I think that's a good stop in place for the. For now, I think. Let me see if I. I'm looking at the height of the nose. Feeling like it ought to come up a little bit. And again, this feels a little big to me, possibly. When we paint in the background, we'll know better. Yeah, I'm going to call it quits for tonight. Um, we got to start on him. I think he's cute. I think it's going to be a fun painting. Um, So he got big ear on him, doesn't he? Yeah. And then the couch comes here and goes across here and over to there and down. And there's a shadow over here from something, which doesn't matter what it is. And then the couch comes in like that. And this is between the cushions, if you can see. Yeah. 
Like I said, there's kind of like two pillows here. Just looking if I want to do any subtle changes while the paint's here, you know? I think that white's going to have to, that nose feels off to me, but this comes up higher, the light color. So, yeah, I think the nose is a little big. All right, I'm going to quit picking with it. I appreciate you joining me. Like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll get back to him soon. I'll try to leave him alone so you can watch me continue on with him. This is the most fun part of it, though, to be honest with you. It's, to me, blocking in the dog, this will just be a lot of, you know, brushwork. So won't be as exciting. We'll have to do his toenails. And so I think I'll come back and do the rest for you. We'll see. I mean, again, it won't be as much fun for you to watch, but we might. Okay. All right. Watch for me next time. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.